an early one for sure. Um, alarm went off at 4.30 this morning. We are off up to Scotland for a top 100 trip. First one of our top 100 vlogs uh, over the next two days. We are playing four of Scotland or Ayrshire's finest courses. We've got Royal Troon, uh, Presswick, Dundonald and Western Gales. Three of them currently in our top 100. Uh, Dundonald just in the next 100 but a really strong contender to get in when we produce the list again this year. Um, I'm going with colleagues Jez Elwood and Rob Smith. Together we put together uh, Golf Monthly's Top 100. Uh, we oversee the process. So it's important we get around, see all the courses, see what improvements are being made, see who's going forwards, um, making changes to the courses, what's happening off course as well. It's all an important part of the uh, experience which is really important in the Golf Monthly Top 100. So, say an action-packed 48 hours. Um, right. First uh, stop, Heathrow. Let's go. So here we are at Dundonald. What a glorious morning it is for the first round of our four round Ayrshire Top 100 trip. Uh, as you can see, lovely, lovely day, and the course looking really linksy. Going to play firm and fast. Of course, Dundonald hosted the uh, Scottish Open a few years back. Um, Really, really looking forward to playing it. I've not played it for a number of years. Some great holes I remember being out there, so it'd really be good to get out and try it again. So join us midway through or just after midway through our first round here on a little Ayrshire trip. I'm Rob Smith. Rob uh, looks after the top 100 along with myself and Jez. Um, we've just played one of the more funky holes here. It's lovely actually. It's got the train track running along one side of it. It's got Western Gales on the other side. Got views out over the sea. But a really, really funky green. We'll give you a little look at it. I mean, you can see it's a huge two-tier bunker in front, little ditch as well. Have a look round behind us. See all the way up here, Rob's just played an amazing uh, shot to sort of try and get up and down right round off the uh, off the bank there. Um, Carl Phillips design, Rob, what do, you, what do you make of it? It's your first time playing it, isn't first it? First time at Dundonald, a uh, big fan of Carl Phillips anyway. Um, what strikes me here is that what makes it different, we're surrounded by traditional, really good quality links. This is a new modern link, yep. but what makes it different, and as, as Mike says, funky, is that You've got some water hazards that come in in places like the par three early yep. on, and here this amazing two tier green is is not what you'd find anywhere else. I think around here. No, I think. But it makes it more interesting because you want variety when you come here. But it's a really, really enjoyable layout. So yep. Phillips has really used his imagination, made a lot of uh, great movement of the sort of land. Some really interesting bunker positions. We saw one just behind the par three eleventh uh, we just yep. played. The little hidden pot bunker just behind the green. So some really interesting design features. Absolutely. I think I think it's great fun and as I say what what golfers tend to want is, is something that's slightly different yep. you come up here for the traditional links and play them yep. and they are fantastic for what they are but here you can for something that's just a little bit different and and makes it more interesting to, to add variety to your tour fantastic afternoon round just uh, hopped across the train tracks from Dundonald to Western Gales really I'm very excited about playing this course Rob and Jez have played it but a long time ago it's first time visit for me it looks absolutely fantastic really 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 linksy it's the land right next to the Clyde um, holes gonna be out in the dunes uh, it's a bit of a traditional very traditional links layout play out and 
and uh, along the coast and then back in. So we're going to have the wind probably with us for half of the holes and then uh, into, and it's quite a strong breeze, probably about a two club breeze. Uh, lovely clubhouse behind us there. I think we'll be looking to uh, have a post round beverage there, uh, but really looking forward to playing the course. Looks like a really classic Lynx test. So can't wait to get out there and get stuck in. So we are uh, on hole seven, Jez? Seven, yeah. Yeah, seven uh, here at Western Gales. It's an amazing bit of lynx land here. Uh, some really, really standout holes that run alongside the coast. Uh, par three here and, oh dear, um, can you see my ball down there? Not great, got to get it up and over and onto the green. I'm not too sure about this one. Let's see how we go. Rob and Jez, you've um, you played the course, albeit a while ago, yes. a number of years ago. What are your sort of memories coming back? What are your thoughts coming back? Well, I'll carry on, Rob. Okay, well, it's, for me, it's 30 years, and I remember it as being one of a group of very strong links uh, along this, this coastline. It's a bit of a blur, because it's such a long time, to be, to be fair. But uh, now I'm back, I am just really, really impressed with the, everything here. The definition of the bunkering, the definition of the holes, the conditioning. It's just a glorious, glorious natural links course. It is. I mean, it's a um, for what you think is originally, you know, when you stand by the clubhouse, it's going to be quite a bit of flat links, and there's actually quite a lot of undulation. You're up in the dunes, play into the dunes, just played that lovely par three seventh as well, Jez. There's some great yeah. holes. Well, uh, the t uh, I said to Rob earlier that the thing I remember, I don't remember a lot, it's probably 25 years ago for me. I remember some punch ball greens, and we've just played both of them, we said, yeah. uh, six and seven. Both great holes, the dunes don't appear to be that tall, but when you get in amongst those those two holes there, then the dunes suddenly take on a higher dimension. Uh, what I don't remember is how brutally hard the second hole is. That was the uh, dog leg left against the breeze, which was almost impossible. Yeah, I've got to say, wind uh, coming over your left shoulder uh, for the first four holes made it, made, it, made it quite a tough start, I have to say. But got the wind with us now, so we're going to try and pick up some shots. So there you go, we just finished uh, round two of our four round trip to Ayrshire, Western Gales, what a great golf course, rain just held off, it was a little bit cloudy uh, and certainly was very windy, challenging yes. into the wind Jez, wasn't it? It was very challenging, uh, this course here, a Lynx course, you play the first four into the wind today, then we had a nine hole stretch downwind and then the final five was into the wind and it was quite a quite testing to try and par any of those holes to be honest. And what's really interesting of course is it's playing so firm and fast. We're here um, on the 11th of June and they say it's not really rained since the 9th of May so five weeks it really is parched and running out there. Lovely it's how Lynx I think you know should look it's whatever uh, God gives you uh, and in the summer if it's hot and dry which it has been no rain it really does run it's a completely different game to to inland golf and I think that's one of the things about the top 100 is that contrast between inland golf and links we're so lucky in GB and I to, to have all of those but if you had to pick out uh, a best hole uh, at Western Gales what would you what would you pick out today I would perhaps go for the par five six or the par three seventh I mean yeah. they're both absolute crackers um, really full of character great fun um, love them both Jez, uh, best hole for you? Uh, well, those two certainly, and then I think the, the two par fours, short ones you talked about, where yep. there's a burn just short, brings a bit of strategy into it, because I'm mm -hmm. sure there are days when bigger hitters could either, well, could certainly bounce it over those burns and get on yeah. the greens. Yep. And there was another short par four we played with a incredible oh, hummocky yep. fairways. You drove it through the back of the green, didn't you? I wasn't going to mention <laughs> you that. You very nearly <laughs> had an eagle putt. I, I did. 
I did have an eagle. Yeah, you did. Sorry, you did. Yeah, I did have an eagle. I didn't make the eagle, but just, I did make just slipped by. But that one there, it was a real roller coaster yeah. fairway. You could do a perfect drive, and one day it will twang yep. right into the rough. Another day it will twang left. Another day it end up in the front bunker. We're just chatting to uh, one of the guys here at Western Gales, and he said you can play. I think it's about eight consecutive courses that you could feasibly play from one end of uh, Ayrshire sort of to the other consecutive holes all the way and it really is fantastic amazing views of the Isle of Arran over to Ailsa as well spectacular uh, but yeah we'll be back tomorrow uh, for another 36 holes good morning and welcome to Royal Troon we're here day two of the golf monthly top 100 uh, trip up to Ayrshire uh, and it is looking magnificent today clubhouse behind me there first hole beach it's all there it's all there looking very firm and fast like western gales was yesterday they've not had a lot of rain up here so it's going to be true links conditions of course this was the uh, venue for the 2016 open when henrik stenson and phil mickelson did battle stenson came out on top great 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 open championship I'm not sure standard of play will be quite so high today but really looking forward to getting out on the links particularly playing the postage stamp of course very famous hole uh, and then the turn for home very very tough inward stretch there so follow us around let's see what uh, Royal Troon's got to offer So here we are on the 8th tee at Royal Troon, famous postage stamp, you can uh, see it behind me there. Uh, it's played 108 yards today but into I reckon a two club wind. Um, we've had the wind with us all the way so far, um, definitely got to make your score on the way out at Troon with the wind in this direction, I think it's going to get very tough on the way in. But um, postage stamp challenge now, Jez what have you got there? Little nine, uh, yeah. Rob. I'm going to try and leather a nine. <laughs> leather a nine. I'm going to try and fashion uh, a seven iron, I think, just under the wind, try and keep it down a bit. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> a coffin. Well, we just finished Royal Troon. For me, that's now all the open rotor courses ticked off and Royal Troon is right up there. Uh, you can see why it was such a great venue for the 2016 Open, mm. but we're not tour professionals, <laughs> far from it, but it was still great fun out there. I think the holes down the wind on the way out, which is a prevailing wind, I believe, uh, you've got to make a score there because it gets really tough on the way in. Guys, what were your thoughts on the course? Um, well, it's, it's, it's a fantastic course. It's a course of two halves, really, but sort of split around a bit because the first hole's down by the shore. You, with the wind behind, you really do have a chance to score, and you absolutely have to do it because then you turn in towards the railway and the heather and the gorse, and it's really hard work. Um, I found about 50 bunkers today um, in that section Excuse in the middle. Uh, <laughs> and then you come back again out towards the, the clubhouse at the end. It's just a lovely course, start to finish. Real test uh, of every club. Uh, it's, you've got everything out there. Jez, what, what were the particular highlights for you? Um, I think it's, it's what you said, really. You have to make your score on the first nine holes, yep. including the postage stamp, which I was lucky enough to ah. just about make a par on. But my scorecard would be a classic example of a typical trim scorecard. 20 out, 14 back. Yep. I imagine you, you, you make your score and then you frantically try to hold on. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. My game not being the best once you turn into the wind. But a lot of great holes. Yep. Um, particularly like the... Um, Two par fives heading out, actually. Yeah, they were good, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, good. Especially the green setting on the second one. Which Lovely. Was the six, wasn't it? I think. And I think you know it's a case where the probably you because know, you you do see across to Aaron, you do see the sea, but uh, just a lot of great beauty within a lot of natural beauty, and it is. It's a pure links course. Um, you know, it's uh, uncompromising. I think from mm. from from tee to green. Uh, but no, really, really, really great test. It thoroughly deserves its position in the top 20 in our rankings. And condition today was absolutely outstanding, I think. Round four, run away. Uh, dash across from 
Royal Troon to Prestwick, birthplace of the Open Championship. Um, fantastic, quirky course. I've only just played it the once, same as Rob and Jez, and not for a while. So really looking forward to reacquainting myself with some of the fantastic holes that are out here. Um, as I say, birthplace of the Open in 1860, and it's. Uh, Bobby, our uh, starter, said, not a lot has changed since then. So this really is traditional quirky links. You've got the train uh, there coming along behind me. Um, great first hole that you have to play uh, with the train tracks running hard up the right-hand side. Um, we've all managed to avoid those. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to this round. Well, there you go, round four over, quite tired, walked a long way over the uh, last two days, but four fantastic courses. Finished up at Presswick today, um, looking absolutely glorious, look over our shoulders there, look at that. Uh, blue skies, uh, firm links and conditions, courses in great condition. It really is a very interesting course, very, not very unique. It's, I would say in the in British Isles in our top 100, it is unique for the nature of nature of how different how quirky it is would it, say rob it's without doubt the most unusual links course in the top 100 i would say the uh, the variety you've got the the old school charm the uh, the quirkiness to be fair disincrances and so on it's 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 unusual very unusual but great fun all the way through and a real combination of really tough par fours and then some very unusual drive and pitch fours with some crazy bunkering as well absolutely great fun yeah, you've got to stay out of the bunkers haven't you chess i mean we, we yes. all came a proper in, uh, in some bunkers whether they were fairway bunkers or greenside bunkers and uh, that, that's a real key to strategy of courses like this is to stay out of the bunkers you found one didn't you at 16 i found one on 16 where i thought yeah. you had a perfect drive i need to get up there and find that uh, you've got one of those dreaded 60 yard bunker shots yeah but that one came out quite well but i think that, as rob said the contrast between a series of really quite long tough par fours just before and around the turn yeah and then the finish which i think you could call quite sporty isn't it yeah there's, definitely there's a yeah. chance if you're accurate to yep. really make or save a score over the last few hours especially the last which is you know downwind is a real chance definitely but that's uh, you know four courses we played you know looked at for top 100 all got their own Merits, obviously, you know, Troon right up there in the 20s, uh, currently in the rankings. Presswick uh, at 43, I think. Uh, and Western Girls 52. Dundonald, a very strong contender. So good to come and see them. We've all learned a bit there. To see, you know, four courses in excellent condition. Uh, gives a good chance to benchmark against other courses in the area and, of course, around GB&I as well. So uh, great trip. We've all had a lot of fun. Uh, stay tuned. There'll be more Top 100 vlogs coming during the year. Oh, 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 oh,